welcome to another video today we have another easy answer video for 100 civic questions from the u.s citizenship test this time we ordered the question by topic to help you make sense of all the information we are going to go over uh, with you today uh, we also choose uh, the answers because we think they are simple but you can choose your own before we begin i would like to remind you that you may practice the 2008 edition of the u.s citizenship test on our website link in the description as well as download our app from the google play store to prepare for the u.s citizenship exam a few words about the rules there are the 100 official question from the uscis version 2008 you will be asked 10 random questions and you must correctly answer six of them to pass the exam please note that this is an oral test not a multiple choice test so let's get started what does the constitution do set up the government defines the government and protect basic rights of americans what is the supreme law of the land the constitution what is an amendment a change to the constitution and addition to the constitution the idea of self-government in the first three words of the constitution what are these words we the people what is one right or freedom from the first amendment speech religion assembly press petition the government what do we call the first 10 amendments to the constitution the bill of rights what did the declaration of independence do? announced our independence from great britain declared our independence from great britain said that the united states is free from great britain how many amendments does the constitution have 27 what is freedom of religion you can practice any religion or not practice a religion what are two rights in the declaration of independence life liberty pursuit of happiness what is the rule of law everyone must follow the law leaders must obey the law government must obey the law no one is above the law what is the economic system in the united states capitalist economy market economy what stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful checks and balances suppression of powers name one branch or part of the government congress legislative president executive the courts judicial who makes the federal law congress senate and house of representatives u.s or national legislatures who is in charge of the executive branch the president what are the two parts of u.s congress the senate and house of representatives how many u.s senators are there 100 who is one of your state's u.s senator now answer will vary district of columbia residents and residents of u.s territories should answer that dc or the territory where the applicant applicants lives has no u.s senators we elect a u.s senator for how many years six we elect a u.s representative for how many years two the house of representatives has how many voting members 435 name your u.s representative answers will vary residents of territories with non-voting delegates or resident commissioners may provide the name of that delegate or commissioner also acceptable is any statement that the territory has no voting representative in congress why do some states have more representatives than other states because of the state's population because they have more people because some states have more people what does our u.s senators represent all people of the state in what month do we vote for president november we elect a president for how many years four what is the name of the vice president of the united states now michael or pence mike pence or pence if both of the president and the vice president can no longer serve who becomes president the speaker of the house if the president can no longer serve who becomes president the vice president who is the commander in chief of the military the president who votes bills the president who signs bills to become laws the president 
what does the president's cabinet do advise the president what are the two cabinet level positions secretary of agriculture secretary of commerce secretary of defense secretary of education secretary of energy secretary of health and human services secretary of homeland security secretary of housing and urban development secretary of the interior secretary of the labor secretary of state secretary of transportation secretary of treasury secretary of veterans affair attorney general and vice president what is the highest court in the united states the supreme court what does the judicial branch do reviews laws explains laws resolve dispute disagreements decide if a law goes against the constitution how many justices are on the supreme court nine who is the chief justice of the united states now john roberts john g roberts jr under our constitution some powers belong to the federal government what is one power of the federal government to print money to declare war to create an army to make treaties under our constitution some powers belong to the state what is one power of the states provide schooling and education provide protection police provide safety fire department give a driver's license approve zoning and land use what is the capital of your state answers will vary district of columbia residents should answer that dc is not a state and does not have a capital resident of us territories should name the capital of the territory who is the governor of your state answers will vary district of columbia residents should answer that dc does not have a governor what are the two major political parties in the united states democratic and republican what is the name of the speaker of the house of representative now nancy pelosi and pelosi what is the political party of the president now republican party what is one responsibility that is only for united states citizens serve on a jury vote in a federal election there are four amendments of the constitution about who can vote describe one of them citizens 18 and older can vote you don't have to pay all poll taxes to vote any citizen can vote women and men can vote a male citizen of any race can vote what are two rights of everyone living in the united states freedom of expression freedom of speech freedom of assembly freedom of petition the government freedom of religion the right to bear arms name one right only for united states citizen vote in a federal election run for federal office what do we show loyalty to when we say the pledge of alliance the united states the flag what is one promise you make when you become a united states citizen give up loyalty to other countries defend the constitution and law of the united states obey the law of the united states serve in the us military if needed serve to important work for the for the nation if needed be loyal to the united states what are two ways that americans can participate in their democracy vote join a political party help with a campaign join a civic group join a community group give an elected official your opinion on an issues call senators and representatives publicly support or oppose an issue or policy run for office write to a newspaper how old do citizens have to be to vote for the president 18 and older when must all men register for the selective service at age 18 between 18 and 26 when is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms april 15th who lived in america before the european arrived american indians native americans what is one reason colonist came to america freedom political liberty religious freedom economic opportunity practice their religion escape persecution why did the colonist fight the british because of high taxes taxation without representation 
because of the British army stayed in their house boarding quartering be because they didn't have self-government. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans, people from Africa. When was the Declaration of the Independence adopted? July 14th. 1776 who wrote the declaration of independence thomas jefferson there were original states named three new hampshire massachusetts rhode island connecticut new york new jersey pennsylvania delaware maryland virginia north carolina south carolina and georgia when was the constitution written 1787 what happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. The Founding Father wrote the Constitution. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? US diplomat, oldest member of the Constitutional Convention, first postmaster, general of the United States, writer of Poor Richard's Almanac, started the first free libraries. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the US Constitution named one of the writer james madison alexander hamilton john j public who was the first president george washington who is the father of the country george washington what territory did the united states buy from france in 1803 the louisiana territory louisiana name the u.s war between the north and the south the civil war the war between the states name one war fought by the united states in the 1800s war of 1812 mexican american war civil war spanish american war what was one important thing that abraham lincoln did freed the slaves emancipation proclamation saved or preserved the union led the united states during the civil war what did susan b anthony do fought for women's right fought for civil rights what did the emancipation proclamation do freed the slaves freed slaves in the confidentiary freed slaves in the confederate state freed slaves in the most southern states name one war fought by the united states in the 1900s world war one world war two korean war vietnam war persian gulf war who was president during the great depression and world war ii franklin roosevelt who was president during world war one woodrow wilson who did the united states fight in world war ii japan germany and italy before he was president eisenhower was a general what war was he in world war ii during the cold war what was the main concern of the united states Communism. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River, Mississippi River. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. Name one US territory. Puerto Rico, US Virgin Island, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Island, Guam. Name one state that borders Mexico. California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What is the capital of the United States? Washington DC. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Because the stripes represent the original colonies. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. Because each star represents a state. Because there are 50 states. Two national US holidays. New York Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, President Day, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching the video.